What is going on everyone? Anthony here and welcome back to another video here on Let's Talk Resident Evil. Discussing the brand new CGI Resident Evil film, Resident Evil Death Island, which of course the teaser dropped uh, a little bit earlier in the year and we saw screenshots of Jill and Leon and there's Chris, there's Rebecca, there's Claire. It it's a whole stacked lineup in this and it's the first time we've seen Jill since post- Resident Evil 5 in the actual main story and the canon, not including the remakes. So I'm stoked because I'm a Jill fanboy, obviously, and I just, you know, this is going to show a lot more. I haven't seen this trailer yet, you know, the, the teaser I've seen. Uh, obviously, I did a reaction to it back when it came out, but I have not seen anything from this trailer. So we're going to go in and get my raw reaction. I'm already excited because everyone's excited online already, and I'm kind of feeling that excitement, but I haven't, like, you know, seen anything or seen the discussion, so I just want to go into this and uh, get this queued up here. After all she's been through, she's trying to make up for what happened Rebecca. To you mean how Wesker brainwashed her and made her come after us? Wow, they're talking her. about it. No one. <sighs> it's not Jill's fault. And she's back! She's, she's back, dude. I'm so excited. Yes, Jill. Through the Taylor. table. Yes, we need him in custody ASAP. Leon on the, the bike. DNA we got from a bite wound There's on Claire. An carcass. It had a strain on an orca. Of T virus in it. You're kidding. Bring him back the T virus. The folks that were infected. They all visited Alcatraz. Recently. Everyone went to Alcatraz. They were all infected. Well, Doctor Taylor. Okay. It's time we debuted our. <sighs> Here are villains. Creation. <sighs> Debuting the creation. Here we go. Oh. I'm Rebecca. What do you want me to tell them? Someone accessed the DOD server. I don't mind Rebecca's new face model. The aqua liquor. And it's Leon. Oh my god. It's Leon and Jill together, dude. I thought I'd never see this shit. I'm going to use my virus to clean the slate. Here we go. Always someone trying to do some shit. Suckers. You're Dylan. Oh, dude. This is so tough. Yeah. Oh. Yes. She is back. And she's got the knife. Flipping off walls and shit. Yo. This. Dude. This is what we wanted. Oh, dude. Come on. OG rocket launcher. Hell yeah. We're at the final stage now. That Come on, Dylan. Why do you got to be no shitting on the parade? Justice. Well, it's over now. Well, they Absolutely. got umbrella soldiers. Those were umbrella soldiers. Time to light you up. Let's do it. You know umbrellas back. Yes. Yes. This is awesome. Dude. Like, this is so over dramatic, but like, I love this. Death Island. Definitely going on vacation after this. <laughs> He's like, I'm over this shit. <laughs> Dude, that was... Okay. I'm going to do a separate video breakdown. There is a lot to take in there. And that is what I really wanted in the recent Resident Evil titles was to have the original cast come together and, and really try to, like, you know, tell a, a story that is, you know, current. Obviously, we know this takes place... Uh, right before seven. Um, and the thing is, is like, I, I get where they're trying to place this and like, but I'm just happy that we're finally seeing it happen. And, and the Leon and Jill team up. Jill looks badass. We pretty much know Jill stopped aging because of the infection she had with Wesker in Resident Evil 5. So I'm very excited to see them kind of talk about the trauma that happens you know, when that, you know, everything ends and when that ends, you, you always wanted to see what happened. You always, you know, we read the, the email in Rev 2 about, you know, her being in recovery, but we never really saw the aftermath of Jill Valentine. And Jill's my favorite character, so I am really excited to obviously see how they, you know, treat her and how she reacts to the situation. And we just saw from the Chris and Rebecca dialogue that, like, you know, how she feels about, you know, turning on her squad mates because, you know, Wesker controlled her. And it's just like, man, like, whoever's writing this and doing this, like, thank you. You know what I mean? Like, thank you 
for filling in something. You know, the CGI films for people that don't know if you're you know new to the RE, they do take place in the actual Resident Evil timeline, unlike any kind of live action adaptation. So this is the one chance for them to tweak some stuff, streamline some stuff, get things right. You know, Resident Evil 6, I know some people love it, some people don't like it. Nowadays, you know, back when it came out, everybody didn't, you know, did not like that game. Uh, and, and me, you know, me included in that, like, I like some things about Resident Evil 6. Uh, but, like, again, it just, it was a very piled-on game with too much meat on the bone. And they didn't really have that Leon and Chris interaction properly until Vendetta came in and fix that they they gave you a movie where it was them teaming up it was them you know fighting and yeah sure it's cheesy action sure it's over the top people would jump in it's slow-mo there's dramatic music but that's what these cgi films are they're supposed to be fun b-movie action things and they always look really good infinite darkness was a lot more scaled down and it was a lot more calm there, there was action stuff there was stuff they did but it was a lot more calm uh the the vendetta film has memes about how the action scenes were you know so uh in, in a good way too like i love vendetta you know so um but i think with this seeing jill back seeing jill with leon the aquatic liquors you have dylan being the villain here i mean again they have different things that they're trying and i like the fact that we're seeing a team up of all of them i don't mind rebecca's new face model we don't really have a confirmed uh cast list of who's playing what with this, but Chris Redfield definitely sounded different. That did not sound like Jeff Shine. Uh, Jill didn't really sound like Nikki either, uh, from what we've heard. So I don't know uh, who they casted for our characters this time around, but uh, I'm sure we'll see the the list of that come out soon, and we'll be able to see what's going on. But I like the uh, the the T virus coming back, you know, uh, and the fact that there's that connection with the uh, Alcatraz Island. And how they're kind of showing, you know, the the patterns there. And this just looks like a great team up film. And I think it's going to be every fan that loves the original games and have been following it, even with the remakes. Like you'll get an appreciation with these characters. You'll get that reaction. And for me, I've been wanting to see Jill in modern times post RE five. You know, anything, just any glimpse of her. And uh, who knows what's going to happen now with, you know, the future of the RE titles and what characters they can, you know, tie in. Because, again, this is in the game's lore and canon. So I really am happy to see this, you know, on the big screen. So there it is. That is my first reaction to this trailer. I am going to do a breakdown uh, up and coming on this trailer because there was a lot of quick cuts, a lot of stuff happening. But I am excited. I hope that, you know, shows through this video that I cannot wait. And uh, the ultimate team up is going to be happening in July. Can't wait to see this on the big screen. What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments down below. Smash that like button, subscribe, and stay tuned. I got the review coming up for RE4 and a bunch of other videos that are on the way. So stay tuned, guys, and I'll catch you in the next one.